Hey guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. So for today's video, I'm going to be walking you guys through some of my favorite hoop masteries. Now I did a video similar to this with clubs a few months ago and I'm going to slowly making my way through the series. So today I'm just going to be showing you guys some of my favorite hoop masteries to do and hopefully you guys can learn a thing or two from them. Now just a quick disclaimer like last time, these were my favorite masteries from the old code of points. They're ones that I did a lot or that I enjoyed doing and so they were designed for the old code of points but they are still applicable to this new code and I've updated the point values and everything. Um, if you do see any mistakes, please let me know because I'm not super familiar with the new code of points if I'm being honest. That being said, you do need to be somewhat warmed up for this because we're going to be doing front walkovers and then you're going to need a bit of space because half of these are throws. So yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. We're going to start off with this cartwheel master here, passing the hoop from one foot to the other. Now I'm first going to show you the rotation without the hoop and it's essentially a normal cartwheel but your legs are going to be meeting at the top and this is where you're going to be passing the hoop between your feet. So we're going to start off with the hoop on whatever foot goes up first in your cartwheel. So for me I do cartwheel on my left side so the hoop goes on my right foot. You want to start by kicking your leg up and then the hoop should start rotating around your foot and you can then use that momentum to continue the rotation throughout the rest of the cartwheel as you pass the hoop from one foot to the other. Now the most important thing in this mastery is timing, in particular the timing of passing the hoop between your feet. You need to switch your feet quickly to avoid the hoop getting stuck on either foot. So as you can see here, the best place to switch your feet is when the hoop is at its highest point in its rotation. Now if you're finding the timing a little bit hard to get, I would recommend practicing the transmission with your hands just to get a better idea of the timing and then when you feel more comfortable try it with your feet. And I did want to show you this one more advanced variation where I add a little toss at the end, but that's an explanation for another video. Okay, next up we've got this catch in rotation, and its value is dependent on how high your throw is. So what I want to bring to your attention first is the type of throw that we're doing. This throw is going to be slightly on an angle, and trust me, it's going to be a lot easier to catch this way. Then in terms of the catch, you'll be catching the hoop in a rotation while the hoop is also rotating. So basically, you're just going to extend both arms out together and then turn away from the hoop, arching back slightly as you rotate. Now, it is important to actually be arching back and to be turning away from the hoop, as you're catching to ensure that your catch actually gets counted as no vision and get count gets counted for during the rotation. Now, I must admit my demonstration here is not the best example of that, but one tip I can provide you guys for this catch is to place yourself in front of the hoop so you can catch sort of the front end of the hoop and keep the rotation going as you turn. Following the linings on your cheeks Cause baby in your absence life is boring Okay, next up we're going to work on this catch here, letting the hoop spin around your legs and then trapping it on the floor. To start off, we're going to do the same slanted throw as the last mastery. And then in terms of the catch, you're going to sort of do this fish flop over your shoulders with your legs together and then separate them as you come down. So while your legs are together, you want the hoop to rotate around them once and then when you separate them, you'll then trap the hoop on the floor. And what I just did here is a good variation in case this one is too tricky or if the hoop's not coming down properly. It's a good kind of alternate catch. But now similar to, similarly to the last mastery, you'll want to get yourself ahead of the hoop so that you can find the right spot on the hoop where it'll continue rotating. So my recommendation would be to toss it a little further back. You can think about this as sort of doing like a ring toss with yourself, but you don't want to cleanly pass through the hoop because then it'll just fall through you. Instead, you want to try to catch the edge of the hoop so it can rotate once around your legs before you trap it. If that made any sense at all. It's like I'm losing my mind time's hard to find What's a girl gotta do to catch a break? When life tries to test me, I take it one day at a time. Cause I was crying yesterday, but look at me today. It has been so long since I wrote a sad song. Sunshine on my face, I'm feeling okay. 
So next up, we're going to do these transmissions here. And this is actually a combination of two different transmissions. But we're not going to be doing the part with the MG, just focus on the masterpiece. So the first part of this transmission is going from your neck to your leg. And the leg, this is going to be the leg that goes up first in your front walkover. So for me, when I'm doing walkover on my right leg, the hoop is going to go on my left foot or left leg. And you're first going to have it out to the side, then bring it almost up into a planche. And then from there, go into your front walkover, again, having your legs meet at the top. So putting this together, when you lower your head, you should stick your leg out to the side with your foot flex to catch the hoop. And then at the same time, you want to begin initiating your front walkover. Then you sort of have to hold a handstand at the top in order to switch the hoop between your legs before getting up to grab the hoop. But don't stay as long as I did in that one. If you're finding it difficult to get the second transmission down, I would recommend, like the earlier ones, practicing the same transmission, just first with your arms to get a feel for it. And one thing I will mention is for the first mastery, again from your neck to your leg, just watch the rotation of the hoop. You'll want to lower your head around the time when the hoop is rotating in front of you, so that when you when the hoop actually leaves your neck, it's actually on your side, exactly where your leg should be ready to catch it. I hope that made sense. Okay, we've got a challenge for this last one. And this may look familiar to you guys because I did get this mastery from Anastasia Salos. But you're gonna start by placing the hoop on whichever foot comes up first in your front walkover. And notice that I'm not stepping on the hoop, it should actually be resting on top of your foot, and then you'll be supporting the hoop with your hand. So as you go into the front walkover, you'll let go of the hoop, so it does a small toss, catch it with the other foot, you rotate the hoop around there once, and then toss it again off that foot. Now like I said, this one is challenging, especially rotating it on that second foot. You kind of have to turn your foot inwards, which doesn't look great, but if you don't, you'll probably end up like uh, that previous uh, demonstration there. So you do have to support the hoop a bit with your hand as you're starting to go into the front walkover, just to get the hoop into the air a bit. And it's really just a light toss of the hoop, just high enough to give your second leg enough time to reach it, and so it doesn't hit the floor. And so when you do reach it, your foot should be catching the back side of the hoop, like the side that should be farthest away from you. That way you can continue rotating it from there. But yeah, that is it for this tutorial. Great job. And that is going to be it for today's video, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys found this helpful. Comment down below if you were able to learn one or two of these masteries. Let me know which ones you did, or if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them below and I will answer them. But yeah, other than that, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe down below, and turn on my post notifications if you haven't already. And I will see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye!